One studio, dozens of students, and a passionate teacher with over 35 years of magical dance experience. And tummies in, shoulders down, chins up, smiles on. <laughs> then I started when I was two. My sisters all say that I was born dancing. And second, now. It's a part of my soul, and um, just feel very, very blessed that I've been able to do it. I joke with my mom and say, hey, at least all those dance lessons paid off and I made it in a career. We went to Disney. They were only open for a couple of years. And I remember standing in front of the castle and holding my mom and dad's hand. And I was six. And I'm telling them, someday I'm going to dance on that stage. And 10 years later, I did. And I remember watching my parents out in the audience watching me. And it was pretty magical. I worked at Disney for 38 years. And I started there when I was 16. I was dancing in the parades and the shows. Um, and then I, uh, I worked for Tokyo Disneyland. And when I was 22, and I went and I danced there, and I did several shows and danced and sang and acted there. As I moved to Montana, it'll be two years ago this week. It's crazy. I reached out to the community about a year ago, and I had this passion and this calling that still I still wanted to do. Hey, would anybody be interested if I offered dance classes? And I got about 200 responses. I couldn't believe it. So I started this summer teaching and I can't believe the overwhelming response that I've gotten from the community and the kids. I didn't realize how much I missed it until I started doing it again. One student said something to me that hit home. She was like, um, Miss DC, you shared not only your passion for dance, but your passion for life. And you shared, sorry, I'm going to cry, so much about yourself that it helped me be a better person. And it prepared me to be able to go to college. And that meant the world to me because I bring so much of myself to teaching that that meant the world to me. So if I can bring a little bit of my passion, a little bit of my humor, um, a little bit of my life experiences, I look forward to seeing what these kids are going to grow up to be. My future that I would love to be able to do is, is to eventually open up a nonprofit here in Ennis. I would love to be able to give back to this community that's just, they, they've opened their arms to me and it has been so wonderful. And I never want a child not being able to do something because of financial means. It's very tough. So I would have no problem doing the fundraising, you know, doing the, the car washes and the bake sales and, and all of those different things to be able to raise money so, you know, any child could dance that wanted to. I, I, I think that's what I've been brought here to Ennis to do, is to be able to do that. The skills learned on the floor or up at the bar are skills that they'll take outside of the dance class for the rest of their lives. In Ennis, Jane McDonald, MTN News.